What is going on YouTube? Name is here bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you guys a happy video. We qualified for X Games. Now this is awesome. So if you guys have been following the league, um, the standings are right here. And we actually just qualified. So we are 8th seed right now. We have two matches left today. Um, if we do go 2-0 and and TCM somehow goes 0-3 or something like that, we will move up to 7th. But we're more than likely going to be in 8th place, which is... not which is good. I mean, we qualified. Um, we will be playing Optic first round. The map's already up, so we have time to practice and stuff like that. And the way I look at it is if we beat them, we're in position to win the whole tournament. So um, we're going to have to turn up to a whole new level this weekend than what we've been playing, how we've been playing recently. Um, we're kind of inconsistent. Like, we just went on a six-win streak and then a four-loss streak and stuff like that. And um, we can kind of attribute that to, I mean, I was lagging out a little bit. And we, our teamwork just hasn't been on point, excuse me. And... We just need to you know, we need to buckle down, and hopefully we can just turn up on the weekend of X Games. We got about two weeks to practice for this tournament. Um, we are going to be heading down June 4th, and we're going to be staying there a few extra days after the tournament. So hopefully we win or do good. So when we stay there for the few extra days, we're not all hating each other and stuff like that. But yeah, so um, we qualified for X Games. Um, the whole squad's gonna be, you know, getting ready. We're gonna be practicing every single day. We got two weeks. Uh, we're just gonna be scrimming. Uh, it's been a while since we've actually, well, since teams have actually scrimmed. Uh, most teams just play their league matches, get off, play aids and stuff like that. Um, but scrimming actually really helps because you plan fair connections and it's just all about practice. You can zone in on one problem and kind of like fix that. And it helps a lot and I'm gonna sit down. And a lot of teams just haven't been scrimming lately. So hopefully, now that everything's all calmed down and stuff like that, everybody's gonna start scrimming. Uh, we can start practicing, getting better at what we need to work on. And hopefully things will turn around and get a little bit better. Um, I feel like I need to improve my game a lot. Uh, I feel like I can be a really great player in this game and I haven't been able to show yet. So I'm gonna uh, focus up and try to get a lot better. But yeah, so I'm like so happy we qualified, man. Like um, if I didn't qualify, I probably wasn't even gonna keep playing because there's just no point if you don't qualify for the league. But yeah, so we, we're 19 and 23. Our, our last couple matches uh, did not go our way, unfortunately. Luckily, uh, Prof didn't go on some crazy win streak and catch us, but we would have won the tiebreaker against Prof anyway. So um, it, they really, I don't really think that had a chance. And we have two matches today. We'll probably win today. But yeah, it's just been real stressful, man. Um, for, for us, well, for a lot of people who like don't go to school and just focus straight up on like Call of Duty and professional gaming, it's like there's more stress in us than like the younger kids that are just playing. Like they just show up to a tournament and they know if they win, like hey, this is good money, whatever. Like I'm I'm still in school, like, I still have all this stuff. But like us, like for us players who like don't go to don't have a job or don't go to school or anything, like this is our main source of income. So I feel like there's a lot more stress on us, and by no means that's an excuse or anything. I'm just saying there's just a lot more stress and pressure on the players who just who aren't just living off their parents and stuff like that and i feel like that in, like that takes a toll on some people and that like affects the performance of a lot of players i mean because when you're younger you, i mean your parents take care of you you're in school gaming's not your number one thing you're just showing up to an event just playing and i feel like that affects how you play but uh, i think what makes you great is the players who can eliminate that and focus and become the best player they can be pop anyways but yeah so definitely going to be working on that as a team uh, trying to get better at, we need to get better at hard point. We were good at hard point, and then it kind of just went downhill as we focused on CTF and Uplink. So if we can fix our hard point, we'll be a really, really good team. Our SD is getting a lot better. We're getting on the same page. Um, more the S and D, we were on the same page. We were just too predictable. So like, what we need to change in S and D is basically just being more comfortable in our roles and being more flexible and adjusting mid game to certain teams' play styles. We weren't adjusting, and we really need to fix that problem because that was biting us in the ass. We'd go up like four two and end up losing like six five. So we actually uh, are pretty good at search. We just need to fix a few things to ensure that we win more of our searches because I feel like to for us to be a great team, we need to be a great search team. So uh, if we can fix that, we'll be pretty good. Our CTF's been looking nice. Um, fortunately, they still have CTF at this next event because uh, our CTF has been our best game type. Uplink is, I mean, it's kind of in the air right now. We're not that good at Uplink. Our hard point, like I said, we got to get better in s and If we can focus up and close out our searches, we'll be a great team. So we do play Optic first round. The maps are already up, so we're going to be buckling down, focusing on those maps. I'm going to be researching them, doing everything because if we take them out first round, that will set us up for everything. So thank you guys for following us through this journey. We did qualify and pump for that. And yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this my thoughts and let you guys know how I feel. And as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed, content will be flowing in every day, like I said. 
I got some friends coming over tonight. Probably make a funny video, stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, guys, peace. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you should check out my last video. Just click that box in the center of the screen. It'll take you to my very last video. It's about me talking about how I moved out to TK house and how things are going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as always, like, comment, subscribe if you did. And I'm out, guys. Peace.